Hi everyone, this is Andrew Ty and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how to install the new version of Minecraft 1.18 on the M1 Apple Silicon Mac. So 1.18 has just been released and I'm going to be showing you updated instructions to build the native ARM version of this game. I'll leave a link in the description for my Intel tutorial. So this version is for Intel Macs. If you're using this build on the M1 Apple Silicon Mac, you'll be running this through something called Rosetta 2, which is the Intel translation layer for the ARM architecture. And this is going to be running substantially slower than the native ARM version. So if you're interested in sticking around and doing something slightly more complicated, this is going to give you much better performance than the Rosetta 2 version. This is also going to be an update of my native ARM Minecraft tutorial, because firstly, I am installing this on the MacBook Pro 16 inch with the M1 Max chip using Montreuil. And also we need to use a different set of Java downloads in order to get this working on Minecraft version 1.18. So the instructions I'm going to be using once again are the Yusuf Nampora M1 Multi MC hack. I'm going to leave a link to this in the description. The very first thing that we need to do is going to deviate slightly from the set of instructions and and this is because Minecraft 1.18 uses a different version of Java. Previously, we used Java 16. However, the new version of Minecraft requires Java 17. And specifically, we're going to be using the ARM64 build, which is going to work best on the M1 Apple Silicon Mac. So I'm going to leave a link to this specific download in the description. So all we need to do is to click the DMG version of this installer. I'm going to download this now. So I've opened up my downloads folder in Finder. And what I'm going to do is double click on the Zulu 17 DMG. Then we're going to double click on this installer. Click continue click install, type in your password and press install, and then click move to bin. So we're going to close these windows. And then we're going to go and visit the multi MC website. And on multi MC.org, we're going to scroll down the window here. And then we're going to download the Mac OS build of multi MC. So once that's downloaded, we're going to double click on multi MC stable to extract this. And then what we're going to do is to move this into the applications folder. I already have this installed. So I'm going to replace it. And now we need to move on to the next stage. So back on the use of Nipura GitHub, we're going to follow these instructions here. I'm also going to leave these codes in the description of this video. What you need to do is to enter these commands into terminal. So we're going to open up terminal by clicking on the spotlight icon on the top right hand side of the screen, type in the word terminal, click on the first line that comes up. I'm going to press command plus to expand this. Basically, we're going to hover on the right hand side of this and click copy. So this has copied all of these commands into the clipboard. I'm going to control click on the blank space of terminal here, and then we're going to click paste. And that's pasted all three lines in. I'm going to press return. So what that basically done is to put all of the necessary files that we need into the Minecraft folder of our user folder. So now we can go ahead and close this. Now I'm going to go to finder, and I'm going to go to my applications folder. And then we're going to find multi MC here, and I'm going to double click. So if it says this, then what you need to do is to control click on multi MC, and then click open. And then we're going to have the option to click open here to forcefully open this. Here we're selecting English as our language and click next. So here I've got the previous version of Java 16 listed as the ZD16 JDK. What I'm going to do is to select the version 17. This is the one that I've just installed. I'm basically going to click next now. Here I'm going to click finish. If for some reason your multi MC has not been updated, then you can go ahead and update it now. So next thing that we need to do is to log into our Minecraft account. So we're going to click on profiles here and then click manage accounts. And then we should add our account. So I have a Microsoft account, so I'm going to add my Microsoft account. So here's asking us to copy a code. We just link our Microsoft account in the browser here. So just paste the code and then log into your account. If you have a Mojang account, you can do it that way as well. So once you're logged into your account, what you can do is to add an instance. So I'm going to click Add Instance. And then we have the option here to install 1.18. So here we're going to press OK. And now we're going to configure this. So I'm going to click on Settings here. And then what we need to do is to double check that we're on the correct version of Java. If you didn't manage to select Zulu 17 earlier, the one we just installed, we can always go to auto detect. We can always select it again here. So just make sure that's refreshed and that we select version 17 and press OK. So next thing we need to do is to click on custom commands and then we need to link to our wrapper. So what we need to do is to go to finder and then we need to go to our user folder. So we need to go to the Minecraft folder that we created earlier when we use terminal. So we click on go here and then we go to home and we're then here we should have a Minecraft folder. So just have a look at this entire user folder and then double click on Minecraft. Then we have the M1 multi MC hack, which will be generated via terminal. And then we have the MC rep.py. So if you control click on this and click get info, then we can have the path here. What we're going to do is to copy and paste this entire path name here. So we selected it all and then control clicked on it to copy. And then what we're going to do is to go to the wrapper command line here and then control click and then paste. So this is just the path. We also need to add the actual file name. So we need to forward slash and then type in mcwrap.py. And then this will give the full file that we need to include as the wrapper command. Then once we're done, we're going to double click on the instance. So now we have Java running under the kind Apple and we're running 
Minecraft 1.18. I'm going to turn VSync off. I'm going to turn the resolution to 1080p, which is the resolution of this video. Got render distance at 12, simulation distance at 12, biome 5x5. Five five. Here we're going to press OK. Basically what I'm going to do is to full screen this now. And then I'm going to press function F3 to get the statistics up. And we're just going to jump up and see what the framework is like. So here at 1080p, you can see at the top left hand side of this window, you can see that we're running at 110, 115 frames per second. It's actually running really well. So anyway, I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.